Coming up today, Mike reviews your comedy sketch videos, and tune in next week when he reviews your gaming videos. What is up, everyone? My name is Zesty Mike, and today we're going to be continuing our Monday critiques. I'm sorry that I kind of had a one-week hiatus. My camera went in the shop, and then when I got it back, I did shoot the episodes for later that week, and then somehow the footage disappeared. Not too sure where it went. So we're starting things fresh off this week, and we're not going to miss any more days. So don't worry about it. We'll be here from now on. Don't worry. Okay, stop. Stop worrying, it's okay, I promise. First off, we have TSF Take Two and their video story tag. This video is essentially an improv story time. One person gives a prop an idea to talk about and the other has to make it into a story. And they get a bit ridiculous. It's definitely worth the view because they're pretty darn creative. Now, as for the video itself, I do have a few things to mention. First off, you're not using tags. This can be an issue because tags are one of the primary ways you gain organic growth. People search these keywords and stumble across your videos. Which means the viewer that is searching has to search nothing in order to find your video because your video contains no tag and if the viewer is searching nothing then they're searching nothing which means no views for anyone so use tags now as for the technical side of things there's a couple things I would suggest to try and improve on first of which the music is a little bit loud and since your video is a story type video your words are really important so if people can't fully understand you then you're gonna have an issue and secondly you seem to be slightly out of focus so make sure you crisp up that focus or you can get a nice sharp image now in the submission you asked is the video that enjoyable and would I as a viewer share it? Now I do think that the idea is cool and that your stories are fun to listen to. But in order to make a super shareable video you need to find a way to push it just a little bit further. You need to find a way to make it more relatable to the viewer. Part of the scary and fun thing about improv is typically you're in front of an audience that you don't know. Now this can obviously be intimidating but also awesome if you pull it off correctly. Now if you're only doing improv in front of your camera and a friend it's not quite as relatable because it doesn't seem quite as scary. So you need to find a way to make this more relatable to the viewers so they are enticed to share it. What I recommend is maybe try to find a way to bring this out to the public somehow and do it live or something. So you have that same intimidation factor that makes it just that much more shareable and that much more exciting. Now next up we have Jacob Carlson and his video shooting arrows at each other. Now don't worry, I don't condone violence and this isn't a gruesome video of cheesy VFX. This is actually an extreme yet fun sport called archery tag. He makes an awesome short video about his experience participating in this and I've got to say it looks crazy fun. Now aside from the video being crazy cool and well put together, I think you could do a bit more with your GoPro shots. Unfortunately it's really hard to get those perfect cinematic GoPro shots without the proper equipment. I learned this the hard way while my camera was in the shop because while my camera was in the shop I tried vlogging on the GoPro and my goodness was the image stabilization not there. It was really disappointing because the image was super crisp and it looked awesome but it was just so shaky it got so annoying so I'm not used to that shakiness of a camera. So what I recommend is try to find some type of monopod or extra equipment to stabilize these shots and reduce the shake. Now whether it be a gimbal featured here or a monopod you need to find something to minimize those shakes. Again it sucks because it comes down to lack of equipment but I'm sure you can find a cheap DIY solution or something else to get a smoother image. Now next up we have Tagaratsu and his video spoof where they review random food. Now this isn't your typical food review, they actually shot and edited it to look like a MasterChef type TV show. They are playing celebrities who are traveling the world to find and try new cuisine. And not only is it funny but I'm extremely impressed at the quality of the video that these guys have produced. For their age it's incredible. Now the intro you guys made was awesome and I really got that TV show-esque feel. Now for stuff that you can improve on, there's really only one thing I could think of. Now like the last person, the only thing I think you're lacking is equipment. The handheld shots are just a bit too shaky for my liking. So try to find something to stabilize your shots, whether it be collapsing a tripod and using it as a shoulder rig or building a DIY steady cam with PVC pipe. Look into cheap solutions to get those perfect handheld shots. And if you did this, I really think it would improve your videos. Jim. Really? But anyways guys, that's it for today's critique. Don't forget to click the links in the sidebar to check out the full videos. Go over there, show some love, leave some comments. Remember in order for this to work, we all need to grow together and support one another. And of course, if you want to be featured in one of the future episodes of this critique show, be sure to use the form down in the description below and submit one of your videos. And remember, spamming gets you nowhere. The comment section is not for spamming your channel, it's for love, learning, and growing together. If you want to see more of my tips and tricks, you can click the playlist in the sidebar for a full list of all the different videos I've done on this channel and if you want to see more of me you can click the links down in the description below and hang out with my face every single day because i have a daily vlog channel that's what i do show my face every single day but anyways guys that's it we'll see you tomorrow see ya
Impulse is produced by the Freedom Network. Ever wanted to earn revenue from your videos? Freedom offers a great partnership program which includes access to hundreds of thousands of audio tracks, sponsorships with great partners, and most importantly, a no lock-in contract. You can leave at any time for any reason. We accept everyone, both big and small. For more information, click here or visit the link in the video description.